Hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. Today we're going to be starting a new and hopefully more permanent hardcore world that doesn't get um, instantly deleted and hopefully with a better seed. I mean, I can't really control how good the seed is, but we're going to give it a go. Just loading up Minecraft. Taking a while to load up. Right, let's kick this off with a better start than last time. Yep, this is what it's gonna be called. <laughs> No seed, we're gonna go random seed, I think. So let's just jump into it. Just try and sort out the camera, it might be a little bit better, less dark. There we go. What's it gonna be? Let's have a look. Okay, we are in. Alright, we start off in the planes. I like it. Nipping around. Uh, can't see much. See an ocean, which is good. Good news. Can't see any structures though, which is absolutely fine. There seems to be another ocean that way as well. I think we're gonna focus on going to this one over here. Th this um this season I'm gonna be doing my hardest not to die because dying. <sighs> Causes a lack of motivation in me. <laughs> it makes me not want to do it, so I'm gonna do my hardest to keep this world going longer. Even if that means not playing risky, playing super safe, waiting till I have diamond armor and potions and stuff before I go exploring into the nether, stuff like that. That's the sort of thing I mean. Because I I don't want to die, and I'm gonna make sure I don't. To the best of my ability, I'm gonna make sure I don't. Right. Start is always the worst part. I think once once you start getting all your stuff and you're working on projects, that's when the pace picks up and you can actually um, you can have more fun with what what you're doing. Uh, I died in the last one, Johnny. Yeah, I died. I, I streamed earlier this morning, and I died um, due to a single block uh, in the Nether, which I fell into lava through. I just I didn't see it, and I jumped straight into it and then I um, played another one but the seed was just really bad um, and I just I wasn't um, getting anywhere with it um, so I just played very risky until I died basically <laughs> hi Steven and diamond search again. Yeah, I, I, on the second world I, that I um, did, I did manage to find uh, a lot more diamonds quicker, but I think that's a shipwreck. We can go check that out.
kind of want to look for an ocean monument now. Can I open the chest, please? Or not? I'm not allowed to open the chest, apparently. <laughs> Love you too, Stephen. Oh my god. Right, let's try this again. Empty now, okay. Nothing in there that's useful. Oh my god, get down. Bastard. I'll take it. Bit of armor. Too bad. Nothing too useful. Right, not too bad either. Wow, oh, ice bites, okay. It's not really where I want to be going though. I want to be finding open ocean. So I might head back to the other ocean I found. Because this isn't... No, he's listening but not watching. Okay. Thank you, Steven. Let's go down here. I've got an underwater city. I'm diving into a chest here. Nothing outstanding so far, but not too bad. We've got a little bit of iron, a couple of emeralds. Yeah, we'll head back to the other ocean. Let's see if we can find the ocean. Room. Sci-fi moving doors, I'll be sad. Well, I'm definitely planning on having moving doors, and some portion of my <laughs> base is going to be underground, but not the entire thing. <laughs> Although, maybe once the new Caves and Cliffs comes out, um, it might be a cool idea to have a base in um, those cliffs. I found another shipwreck down here on the right. Not a very good one though. Oh, and another one. What the fuck? Another one to the right as well. Faster, please. Today, there's this other one. Leave this guy behind. Coming up to a lukewarm motion, so we've got, I think, a better chance of finding an ocean monument. Drink glass to him underwater just because. That would be a cool idea, actually. Treasure map. Nice, oh, I've a bit of iron. Very nice. It's always good to loot these because you can get some really good stuff. Down there, it's pretty good. 
We got an above water um, boss scene. Cool. Some drama from it. I should probably look where this um, buried treasure is. It's all the way down here, right? Yes. All the way at the bottom here. We're not dying in this one. This this one is not. <laughs> it's not on the table that we're dying. I mean, maybe eventually, but not for a while. All right. It's on this island here. I think. I'll show you a secret. If you go to um, nine nine junk. Uh, nine chest is right here. Oh, let's go diamonds already. Get up. Awesome. Okay, well we've already gone a way better start than last time. <laughs> Didn't take three hours to find diamonds this time. Um, but let's keep the lookout for Ocean Monument. That's the main thing we're looking for right now. Found a Mesa biome. Wow, okay. I like it. Can definitely work with that. If you can find a monument nearby. That would be uh, perfect. But... Is that one? No, that's just the landscape, I'm pretty sure. Strong belief in diamonds, yeah. I agree, Johnny, I think you're right. I just need a strong belief in ocean monuments. Although I've got a strong belief in shipwrecks, because I seem to have found another one. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth looting this one. I think I'll probably do it anyway, but. Tending to be a pirate, yeah. That would actually be a really cool idea, don't you think? Maybe like a pirate ship at the base. You know what? That's Johnny, you've given me an idea. I actually really like the idea of that. Weirdly. Having a pirate ship as a base. Nothing in there. Another buried treasure. One bits. Nothing there. Oh, that's a bird session. No, it's another one. We could um, go for that. I know it's not like exact. Hey, Amy. I know it's not the um, exact thing thing that I was going planning on doing, but like just finding treasure treasure maps and is it north this way? It's directly north and west. I think it was even north this way, I think, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I, this might be the same one, but I'm not sure. Just you help me. <laughs> I actually really like that idea. Having um, a pirate ship. Like a big one, not just like a... <laughs> not like one of these shipwrecks, like a, a big one. And then having like a story system in the bottom and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. I've got to be very careful here because I don't actually have a shield yet. So I might try and get some more wood before I go for this thing. That is a lot of creepers, right? <laughs> is that just me or is that a lot of creepers? I can see four. Get it. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have the food for this. Steven, you know it's bad when I have to approve all of your messages before they go in the chat. Yeah, shame we can't move. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. These creepers. Hold on, let me just change this to peaceful real quick so I can uh, get this buried treasure. <laughs> And there's so many mobs. It's like here. Actually, wait, I don't know. Can I? Right. It's here. Got they can swim. Fuck. Huh. Steven's being annoyed, but yeah, I did approve it, Steven. <laughs> oh god, I can't even. I can't even get near the island. There's too many creepers. If I can get wood to make a shield, I'm happy to take him out, but. don't really want to do it unless I have a shield. I can't get the wood because... Ow! 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 No. 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 No, 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 no. No, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not dying to a fucking trident, man. Not happening. Not fucking happening. Okay, I'm fucking up. I can't do it. If I die to a trident... Why is there so many creepers? <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't make a sex swing out of web, Stephen, no. Also, why is there so many tridents? What? It's just daytime taking longer than it should be. Where's the moon at? Oh, I saw a little bit. Creepers still there. There's so many mobs on that island. I might go. I saw a um a ruined portal over this way. I might go in and investigate it. 
It might have some food. No, I don't, Amy. I do not owe you twenty pounds if I die. Don't lie. <laughs> Um, head back to this island now. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to become full daytime so that the um. Oh wait, no, the light level's fine. They shouldn't spawn in now, I think. So, yeah, this way. Oh. What about silent? Is it this one here? They shouldn't be on the island anymore because the sun's out, so they shouldn't be able to spawn. Let's hope anyway. Looks safe. Be under this. Oh, it's a wow, nice iron sword, plenty of gold, uh, and another heart of the sea. Don't need this prismary crystal. Awesome. Okay, well, we have loads of loot now. I think we're probably all right to stop um, doing the main looting and just go and find somewhere to set up. Another shipwreck, or is that one I've been to already? I think that's one I've been to already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one I found the um, very short map. Either way, um, dive into the nether. Uh, not again, I'm alright. No, natural ground being sneaky. Got a desert up here, it's pretty good. You already taken the injury? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm pretty kitted out to be honest. I'd be surprised if I like died. So. Another shipwreck, Christ. Oceans are pretty shallow, so. Yeah, I thought so, I agree. That's very true. We 
beginning to feel like I'm not going to find an ocean monument anytime soon. So I might just uh, set up base somewhere. I'm getting very lucky at the moment, but what's the coordinates at? But I am quite far out. Let's head this way for a bit. I could tell. In Savannah. Nice, you think that could look quite cool. Oh, that's actually that's a good place for a ship that's docked. Right here, right? So like, this is like almost like a bay, like a naturally formed bay. I want to check up here real quick. That is actually pretty cool. Or even someone, or even like here, this is also very good. Depending on how much I want to build it, how big I want to build it, but I think I might actually set up base here because this transforming this into a um, a bay and a dock would actually be really cool. I think. I think it would work really well. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's gonna be the plan then. We're gonna set up a temporary little shelter that's just gonna be for stuff and materials, and then we can start building everything we need. I mean, we've got uh, almost all the materials that we actually are, are gonna need to start building this. We've got enough iron for armor and tools. We've got enough diamonds for a pickaxe for when we want to go to the Nether. The only thing we don't have is enough diamonds for an enchantment table, but it's not the end of the world. We can definitely go and get some more. I'm gonna grab a bunch of um, wood here. I'm not too sure how well um, acacia is gonna work for a boat. Because it's not really a super useful um, building block. I don't know, it's, it could work, it definitely could work. I might just have to play around with it to find some uh, designs that actually look good. But yeah, I think um, I think this is a good place to just start up a little shack. I know this is extremely basic right now, but it's only supposed to be a small build. But I might have made it a little bit too small. Yeah, I think I might have made it a little bit too small, but it's fine. And yeah, Johnny, I have got wood now. Should make a shield at this point. Let's make um, an axe really quick, just so I can grab a bunch more acacia. Acacia is quite an annoying tree to mine though, so it's going to be kind of difficult getting lots of it. Get someone to help with that man. 
Or someone's helped with what, Johnny? Make a chest really quick. Get rid of all this rubbish in my inventory. I kind of need sheep quite quickly. A lot of pool. I see a bunch of sheep. Get night time. So we rebuild in peace.
good luck. Maybe. Yeah. Steve wants me to play some Ewok. Spider Man, what? I think I'm, after I build this stuff up, I'll start trying some designs for the um, boat, but I'm not really sure what what's going to work. I might hop into creative. And uh, test some stuff. See how this looks. Uh, as a little star. Um, it looks alright, but it needs some. Definitely needs other blocks in it. At the moment, it's looking very just stick it, stick some bones.
Outside. Uh, um. Hmm. I think I know why. I might be able to fix it. It just looks a bit. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely a lot better. And we need something below it, right? Because at, at the moment it's just looking like this is it up in the middle of nowhere. What I could do is move these in one. I think that might make it look a bit more supported instead of just looking like a table. At the moment it does kind of look like a table. Hmm, I don't know actually. Unless we like mixed it up so on the back it has like wider ones and on the front it's um close one. Maybe but I think this needs to be on the edge. Sleep again. So maybe like here, right? Yeah, okay. I like that. Maybe that one is for that. Yeah, that definitely makes it better. I think we should try and tweak that a bit. Yes and no. What's it look like on the front? Kind of. Some hang yeah, hanging lights would be a good idea. Maybe some lanterns. We got two there, and then maybe like one there. Maybe merge like one randomly off of this. That gives it some asymmetry. Six hours to die. Thanks, Johnny. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I like how this looks. Um, let's uh, move all of this up to the top. I'll leave the chest for now because... Um, yeah, I'll leave the chest for now because I don't actually need... Um, need it up here because it's only temporarily there. But I'll chuck all the other stuff up there. I'll also make another crafting table for downstairs. 
Um, but yeah, I, I think glass panes in the backs of all of this. Oh, what are we going to do about this though? Hmm. And it will connect to these. I, don't know, I mean, we could leave it open. I mean, but I think glass panes might actually take away from it a bit. Because at the moment it's like an old fashioned hut, but with them. Um, Glass panes, it might look a bit too out of place. But I think we might be good on that. Right, um, okay, the next step is gonna be making all the tools we need. So, um, seeing as we've got the iron for it, pickaxe and a shovel. Don't need a hoe right now. Um, and then uh, armor. Uh, got some gold stuff. Got all of this truck in, and we can make a more chest. Good start. For enchanting one for smithing. Oh, just bridges and electric tiles. Oh, okay, yeah, I like that. I like that style. So having like multiple of these and then connecting them by bridges, that would be pretty cool. Definitely, yeah, definitely can see you doing that. Now we're just grabbing wood for the uh, for the boat. I've a couple um, ideas, but it's gonna require a lot of wood. Actually, let's um, jump into creative world and just kind of get an idea of how this will look. Um, creative. See, like, because uh, if like Acacia is actually really horrible for um for boats, you might have to go out and do something else. A little bit, which doesn't touch the ground. It's a bit like about. Oh yeah, okay, I like that a lot actually. Keep the one in traders, but yeah, honestly, he's gonna stay. Oh, I'll probably kill him at some point. Building blocks that we can use here. Uh, that and that. So I feel like if I take all the water out for a second. Is class and class what if I live? Okay, um fill
Oh wait, I'm doing it the wrong way around, aren't I? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. But without... Oh, it's spreading so much. Oh, it's spreading to the these things. Get out of it. They're just gonna keep spreading, right? This is not, this is really not working very well. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's, let's just do it in a different place. The main idea would be to have something like this, okay. So this is basically the central bit of wood which we made our logs uh, maybe like here comes up uh, obviously a lot of this is gonna be underwater so bear that in mind yeah like and Should have done a small scale one just to see if the block panel would work. Sort of thing, but like underwater. Uh, that might be. This is going to use a lot of um, acacia wood, but it's fine. Also, the um, actual build I think will probably be bigger than this one, or at least, oh, well, probably a little bit bigger. But I just wanted to kind of gather a size. I mean, it does work, I think. If it obviously not with this chair, I mean that's quite wide, but I think it it, do, it does work. for colors, I mean, color looks good. Yeah, I think I think it I think it works. I'm a little bit um curious as whether slabs will look better, right? Then um, I think because it's like not a deep set then. So it kind of looks like a small ridge. I'm just gonna have a look at what it looks like on the other side. This wouldn't be like a big change, but it'd just be like maybe a little bit bigger on the bottom. underneath can't really see it but like if I have um 
shaders on. Right. I think that'll look pretty good. Right. It's a bit of a lion bug. Bit of a fence at some point. Yeah, I, I think maybe not all the way up, but I think maybe like up once it's out of the water, the bit that's out should have fences. So maybe like up here. Right. Because it doesn't really make sense like if they're up here. No, oh, I don't know. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Remember again, this will be below the water. So probably up about like here. And then this will also go a bit higher. Yeah, I think I think that block palette works. And it is definitely usable, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's turn those off. Yeah, the mama, yeah. Oh no. Is everything alright? The stream, it says that there's an error, but it looks okay on my end. Is that, is that issues with the stream or is that okay? The stream looks fine on my end, so. But I don't. It says that there's an error. Um, but it seems to be okay. Is it okay? It's a bit laggy. Um, hmm. Don't really know what I can do about that. Is everything okay now? Uh, it should be alright. It's saying it's fine on my end now, so. Go and make another axe. It's the problem with um, using Fajr is just the, it's so annoying to mine.
one but two stacks of wood I mean definitely gonna need probably about five or six stacks right I would have, I would imagine uh, but this could be a good start I might be able to get um, basic frame in us and go home I need to get a new axe and I also need to um, sleep Chilling. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna need some dirt and stuff to um, help me build off, I think. I don't think I've got much. Yeah, I'd quite like to have like the, ho the boat coming out here and then like a ramp leading up to the boat as if it's docked. So I think the center of the boat would be about here. Probably want it to come up about this high, I think. This height is probably pretty good. This would be like, I'm doing back to front, so this is gonna be like whereabouts the back is, I think. I think a conduit would be really useful, but um, I don't know where I, I don't really want to go and get prismarine from. Yeah. There. So now respiration, so building underwater is going to be annoying. I think that's a pretty good height, right? the bottom I think yeah I think that's pretty good size for the bottom double check make sure this doesn't make it stupid nice Can start coming up now. 
I don't know actually, probably a bit further. I think there is probably good enough. Now the front needs to be a little bit um, less steep than the back coming up. Dirt the scaffolding. And it needs to kind of slope back out, I think. Actually, it could be a good idea to use those. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I should uh, do that. I only get three out of it, so you're actually losing some, but. Uh, that means I've got to take all the corners out, though. Does it look better? It does, doesn't it? That looks a lot better. Is it just me or does that look better? I'll, I'll let everyone else talk. Meanwhile, I'm going to go have a look at the shape of this thing. And the size. That needs to be a bit longer, I think. I think that's pretty good size. You agree? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I should probably do that on all the corners then. Bit of a pain to um, go and redo them all, but I think it'll be worth it. I'll make it look a lot better. Thank you. 
I think this definitely does look better though. I not gonna lie, I completely forgot that we could do this. Okay. Definitely the right choice. Should go to sleep. Don't die building it, I will do my best. <laughs> I'll be very sad if I die. Oh, that's something I did. Wait, is that? Oh, that's a shout actually. Wait, which I think it might be all right. Yeah, it kind of looks a bit weird from the bottom because it's horizontal, but I think it's better than the other one. Anyway, yeah, it's definitely better than the other one. Yeah, it's sort of like um, a, what do you call it? A um, smuggler's cove. That could be the that could be the name of this place. Smuggler's cove. This one is straight on then. That's really odd. I don't know how placement works for this. Is it like the surf is it the way you place it on I think? So when you place it straight down. Yeah, okay, I got it. Alright, I might I, I can fix this, but I don't think it's that big of an issue for me to go around redoing everything all over again, so Treasure room in the cave, yeah. <laughs> That's half of it done. Don't have to worry about all of this rubbish. One on one, right?
this should be enough for these guys to stay. Oh, that one was already one. That's fine. Cool. Right. This thing, I can should be able to just take away the dirt blocks. By placing more dirt blocks. Alright, so that is like the backbone of the ship done. Uh, now it's just we need a ton of wood for the outside of it, and we can start building up the rest of the shape. I think the next thing that I'll do, I'm gonna convert all that. I think I will do the top section of things. So, once you've got the end dragon, it's a nice place for a bunch of shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I think that'll be um, uh, the perfect place for the heads. Oh, and the egg as well. Yeah, I was thinking of the dragon heads, you know, from the um, Elytra. The NCs, but actually the egg as well. I could be like on the back of it. That's quite a cool one, yeah. So I think the actually before I do anything, I'm gonna turn it into slabs because that's just gonna make it a lot nicer to build on. Um, I won't use so many. Let's say that. The floor of the ship. If we do it uh, like this, then no mobs will spawn on it. Uh, it's gonna be quite nice, just for the top layer, because there's not gonna be anything on the top layer. All right, okay. Let's um, build in here. Can take this one out. This is where the thing is gonna be. This is top of the ship, so we need it quite big around the back. I think one, two, three, four, five. Then we can start cutting in. Two, three. Three. One, two. One. Five, three, two, one. 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 Two, three, four, five. See how this will look. Yeah, that would be pretty. That would actually be really sick. Or maybe have like even like some like farm animals as a crew. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good um, base size. I keep getting water just a lot. Um,
do. I mean, I'm actually enjoying myself a lot more than I was even on the first world. I mean, the first world was cool and all, but I didn't have an idea of something like this. I mean, like, this isn't obviously going to be my final base, or it's not going to be my mega base, but it's a big thing to start off with, a big, a nice project to look forward to, to finishing. And it's something that is reasonably simple to do, and it's, I can do relatively quickly. So. Like I said, this is going to use a ton of wood, a ridiculous amount of wood, but it's it's going to be great. It's going to be a really fun addition. I think that's actually quite a nice shape. Your pirate rays, yeah. I think this is a pretty good shape actually. Push it down. Do you agree? I mean I think that's I think that's a pretty good shape. The shape that gives a lot of space down below to work on storage and other bits and bobs. I think that's I think that's a perfect shape. We have to do the other side and try and remember how the fuck I did it. <laughs> I'm never gonna remember how I did this. Okay. I might be easier to stop from the other side. It's a lot narrower on this side, so I can um, actually see when it does when it breaks off. Blah, blah, blah. Exactly right. This is an in one. Okay. 
three, two, one, two, two. Five, three, two, one. Is that the only thing that was wrong? This? I think it was. I think that was it. Yeah, okay. Let's see what this I'm interested to see what this will look like from up here. Oh yeah. That is mega. Pretty sure it's perfect even with everything. even nice one and now the <laughs> filling in part which is always fun this is yeah this is gonna be a quite this is gonna take a while because not only do I have to put in all the blocks, I also have to add floors and clear the water. The water is going to be a pain. I'm hoping it's not going to be ridiculous, I'm not because I'm not going to have sponges at this point, right? So I'm hoping I'll be able to just place dirt or sand and then mine it out. But... So yeah, around the edge is going to be another block. Um, oh, actually, that's a shell. I haven't thought about that. I think this bit out here is all going to be raised, and everything indoors is going to be on this level because there's going to be fences along the sides here. Yeah, all along the sides here are going to be fences. Uh, so I'm going to actually have to go all over these again, and then all of the stuff in the middle is going to be. Um, bottom slabs so that mobs can't spawn. I, my, my main goal is to have mobs not be able to spawn in this base even without light, so have everything spawn proof and blah blah blah. But what I might do now is stop planting some more acacia saplings because I'm running out of acacia trees. I'm actually pretty pleased with this um, this uh, first episode because I mean, while we haven't like built up anything massive yet, we've got good plans and a good foundation in place for when we um, do decide to, uh, or when we do gather all the resources. I mean, I'm collecting wood right now, but I'm gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot of wood. So this is probably going to take maybe a week or so to finish, which is quite long compared to if you think about like actually what I have to do, because it's mainly just getting wood, but the amount of wood I need with the tools that I have, I think is going to take some time. 
I might split it up and do some mining sessions, grab some more diamonds if I can. Um, to maybe be able to mine quicker. Uh, but yeah, I think for now, it's a pretty good place. Yes, yes, skeleton. As much as I would love to be able to have a skeleton crew in there, uh, I'm pretty sure I would be killed very easily and I would forget that I actually have skeletons on there. And the only way I could do it is if I lock them up. However, that could be quite a cool idea is to name tag some and put them in like cells uh, beneath, maybe. So have a. Um, so like law skeletons in right um bring them down below to a place where we have cells or like, maybe not even just skeletons but zombies probably not creepers just for the fact that i don't really want to die and i also don't want to blow a hole in my ship Then let's go ahead back to bed. This is going to be pretty cool. I, ca I cannot wait. I, li I like to see what this would look like in shaders as well. But um, I have a feeling it's going to set off the um, set off the thing again. Kill this skeleton without alerting the creepers so I can sleep and get rid of them. Okay, nice. <laughs> creepers, no thank you. That's not, that's not, yeah. Just please leave me alone. What? 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 Excuse me? Why did it explode? What? Why did it explode? Got the chest. I wasn't even near it. Did this? I think the skeleton shot it, and it got aggroed at the skeleton and blew up the skeleton. Damn. Do you have any chests on me or did I get blown up? A rival crew, yeah. <laughs> The lantern get blown up as well. It's so frustrating. And I really just blew up my fucking world. Yeah, I think the creeper got shot by the skeleton, and his mobs can be hostile at each other. Blew up the skeleton. And destroyed my fucking chest. Blow up all my life. 
that is. Try and fill in some more before I head off. I think what I'll do is I'll fill in the rest of the wood that I have. Um, and then after I've filled as much as I can in, I'll probably head off for the night, I think. Because we've made quite a lot of progress today. Uh, I'd show my graphical food first. Made quite a lot of progress today, so I'm pretty happy to. Um, to leave this off and then carry on tomorrow because I um got nothing on tomorrow so we definitely be carrying on. Um, right, where should we start? Let's um let's do like the cross. do this every four blocks we can run across one and place it on the other one I'll show you what I mean in a minute um, so if we place it every four blocks along we can just we can do this if I uh, click it instead of holding it down it shouldn't we shouldn't get that issue My we still do. Okay, that's fine. It's not a major issue. If I click slowly, we don't get the issue. It makes it a lot easier to place. Okay, just to give you a scale of how big this area is. That was over a stack. <laughs> it was over a stack just there. Of um, slabs. Day in. What do you mean by that, Johnny? Day in. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I know, man. It's absolutely huge. Like, almost used all of my thing already, and I haven't even been filling it all in. And this is only like one floor. I'm gonna have uh, gonna have to fill all of the sides in. Um, probably. I'm not sure how many floors. I'm not sure how tall this thing actually is. I'll measure it in a second. One, two, three. Fill this in, I'll go and measure how um, tall this actually is. 
probably at least I think it will probably be three floors. So like, so we, if that's the bottom floor there, right? We've got one, two, three, three high, four high, block one, block. So you got one, two, three. Yeah, three floors, and then obviously this top bit. However, this top bit isn't going to be used for any functioning things. I don't think at the moment, anyway. Probably just be decoration. Um, yes, yeah, so this will definitely just be decoration, I think. Uh, because we're using bottom slabs, and this top area is not going to be lit up. Uh, the inside of it will be with lanterns and stuff like that. It's a lot easier to light indoor stuff up without it looking like bad. But I don't really want to just go around placing torches everywhere. And. I reckon on the inside we'll probably have uh, lanterns and torches. Probably not torches, actually, probably just lanterns. I think lanterns look a lot nicer. Could be pretty cool to get soul, soul lanterns um, at some point, but. I hope the, um, the nether is good, and I hope the stronghold. There's some stuff filling in some of the here as well. These are all the slabs. To be fair though, we covered quite a lot of this area and that was less than a stack of logs. So like, it might not be as much as you expect. But yeah, that is all of the stuff I've got. Um, I'm interested to see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, that looks mega. Okay, let's see how many blocks it is. So if we like, if we say we have the slabs here on the bottom, so that's the first. This right, right here is the first layer. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, yeah, so we have 15 um, blocks um, to play with there, which should be enough, so we, three, one, two, three, we have um, a floor here, one, two, three, a floor here, and then one, two, three, four here. we couldn't, oh, if we do four, I think four is probably, like maybe in the bottom one we have, one, two, three, floor here. One, two, three, four, floor here. One, two, three, floor here. No, I think we can, think we can do. Yeah, I think we can do four together. So wait, one, two, three, four. The floor, uh, the ceiling's here. So three, four, ceiling here. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. So if we have um, uh, four, we should probably get to bed. Oh, I see. We should probably wrap the area up as well because I keep getting skeletons and stuff spawning like right outside the base. Right, there we go. Let's go to sleep. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably going to be uh, me done for today. Because. We've got quite a good plan. I'm quite tired, and I think that should be a quite a solid. But like, how cool does that look? Come on, like that's so sick. When that's all filled in with like detailing and um, other stuff. Damn. I might put another layer of log around the edge just to add in a bit of detailing, so it's not all just one big wall of orange. Um. Yeah, I might just put. Get like two sets of logs just around the edges here. Um, to be fair, that could probably instead of putting an extra layer of slabs, I can probably go around the edge and then have the fence on top of those. I think that work pretty well. Yeah, 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 for sure. I am. Um, okay. 
thank you everyone for watching um thank you johnny for the ideas as well um but yeah that is going to be me done for today uh, i'll probably be streaming tomorrow around 12 ish depending on what time i wake up um but yeah see you all then